Hey, it's Mike. I have not done a video for my autoimmune followers in a long time. And so I thought I would do one, and I wanted to do one focused more on exercise. I know I'm still talking about food. And then I think what I'm going to do, after I do the one on exercise, I'm just going to do like weekly ones and just chat. You know, one of the things that those folks who follow me too know that I'm into beekeeping, and I love to watch beekeeping YouTubes. And I'll watch all tip types of beekeeping YouTubes on different topics because I don't necessarily pick up pointers from the topic that I'm watching the YouTube video, but I just pick up little pointers because people just like ramble. And so I thought I'd have a little rambling videos coming up too and just ramble about things that I'm doing, how I'm feeling that week, what I'm doing that week. Um, I'll start a little bit by, you know, I'm feeling a little bit better this week. I had those downs, I had those medication adjustments over the winter, which totally, I think it just flipped me, I don't know what it was, but I just wasn't, couldn't get out of my own way, I just didn't feel that great. Um, but now I'm doing a little bit more, I'm doing a little bit better, not up to, I want to be back up to like 150%, I know I'm, I'm only on back up to like, I'd say maybe 75% of what I was before, I'm getting there, I just can't carry through out more than like four hours, I need a break, I just have to stop, what activity I do, but one of the things that I've done probably this entire year, for the past year and a half actually, is come to the gym, come to the gym faithfully, even when you feel horrible, come to the gym and do something. I think it's not the exercise that helps you out, it's the environment. Um, yeah, you can say you can work out at home, you can take a walk outside, but when you come to the gym, you're in an environment with people who are working out, and you kind of just feel a little bit better, you're working out. The, the trick is, you can't do too much when you have autoimmune disease, and it's really hard to judge that, and believe me, I'm not there yet judging it, because sometimes I do, sometimes I feel like I don't do enough, but you do something. Just do something at the gym. The one when I very first got ill and I was at my functional endocrinologist, functional medicine endocrinologist, and she said to replace the fat in your body with muscle because it's going to help your metabolism so much better. And so anybody with endocrine problems, you really should um, think about more of a lean body figure and do more to replace that so you have uh, better chances of a, a better optimization of metabolism in your body. You'll be, do yourself a great favor. I'm still I have six pounds. Well, I'd lost 65, gained five, to gain five more, and now I'm losing back again. Um, but I lost 60 pounds. I still have about 25 pounds to go. The biggest thing, too, is um, I was listening to Deepak Chopra, who really you think of he's like the mindfulness guru, but he's actually a neuroendocrinologist, I think. Um, and what he says is the belly fat is the worst. Um, that basically when you have belly fat that's another endocrine organ because he, what he said was basically where did that come from it came from cortisol right it came from the stressful uh, work environment not, not a stressful work environment but stress in general stress that you put on yourself all different stresses um, poor diet yeah that was me um, not, much, not doing more enjoyable things um, not exercising at all um, Poor, like health choices, processed food, McDonald's, crap is the worst. Um, so that endocrine organ becomes an endocrine organ and that really screws you up. The thing about it is, remember all the bad stuff that is stored in the fat as well. So as you're losing weight, I found that I needed to, I would, um, oh, I'm losing my train of thought here. I would box a lot when I lost weight because all the bad stuff that I have developed over the past years is stored in the fat pesticides, all the junk that's stored in the fat too. So you do end up relaxing a little bit, so take yourself, saunas, um, Epsom salt baths. Um, this is truly turning into a ramble. So my point is, lose weight. Yeah, you have to. I have to. 20 more pounds ago. It's not easy. Um, I come to the gym. Some days I don't fully doing anything, but I come and I maybe just walk on the treadmill for 15 minutes at a slow pace and something, and then go to the something, I don't know, make it enjoyable. Work your way up to where you're doing strength and cardio because you need to build muscle, lose the fat, um, get your ideal body weight, get that goal there, and try to eat your way down to that goal. I think that's it. It was a ramble. I might pick something up from on the rambles. All right. Thank you very much. Um, you have any specific things you need me to talk about? Just let me know and I'll be happy to. Uh, my life is a book. Uh, I want to help people that have uh, are going through this or, um, or in the beginning of this or have process of going through this because learn from my experience and my experiences that I went through. All right, thanks.